Is it Dallas? The famous Degrassi. You mean infamous. Ooh, hey. I like it. <laughs> hey, remember your father and I are in Kingston tonight, back in the morning. Pizza money's on the counter. You can have one or two friends over. So a party. <laughs> Funny. So what's the big assembly about? Probably to welcome you. New major junior hockey team taking over our school. I don't know, Drew. They sent home letters. I have a terrible feeling the school's shutting down. The school is not shutting down, Adam. I hope not. You I just got here. Up. There's my team. I'll check you guys later. What up, boys? Yeah. Yo, the school's definitely shutting down. Really? You two? What's wrong with him? He was supposed to dump Katie last night and chickened out. He's not <laughs> chickened out. I went over there to pull the trigger, and her parents gave me a sweater. <laughs> <laughs> well, I get it. Okay, breaking up is hard. The drama, the crying. Hey, have you guys seen Eli? Car crashes. I'm helping. That was a long time ago. Whatever, I gotta do it soon or I'll lose Bianca for good. Bianca? Aren't you with Katie? Long story, Jenna. Well, I sure dodged a bullet. <laughs> Literally. You guys wanna see my scar again? No, no, no. Adam. It's so cool. You didn't do it. I tried, but her family gave me a sweater. Okay, Katie just finished rehab, and we said we'd wait until she's in a good place, Drew. <sighs> so how ugly is the sweater? <laughs> <laughs> Aw, I knew you didn't like it. It's okay. You just have to wear it at every family dinner at my house. <gasps> wow, Katie. Seems like you're in a really good place. Thanks, Bianca. I am. I know you're wondering why I called this assembly. I thought about including the news in my letter home, but some information is meant to be said in person. After much debate, Degrassi is officially uniform free. I have a really good feeling about this term, don't you? Okay, guys, come on, settle down. Come on, take your seats. All right? It's exciting, I know. But in equally exciting news, I want to give a warm welcome to some new Degrassi students. They're our major junior hockey team, the Toronto Icehounds. Guys, why don't you stand up? Come on, take a bow. NHL hopefuls go here. The Taurus got their very own. So, are you single ladies gonna give them a warm welcome or show them around? Finger quotes, Ali, really? Welcome back to Degrassi, guys. Let's make this term the best one yet. You're late. How's New York? I hated it. There's all this any theater and art and architecture and culture. Oh. So you loved it. I'm already thinking about my NYU portfolio for next year. Eli, that's amazing. So. So what else? I don't know. What else with you? Hi, I'm Becky Baker. My brother's a nice hound and we're new from Florida. The Sunshine State, I might have guessed. I'll take that as a compliment. Uh, any chance you can show me to my class? I guess we'll catch up later. Yeah, sure. We're going shopping. 
I already am. This year could not get any better. No uniforms. Tris and I are gonna land leads in the play, and Zig's hair is at that perfect in-between haircut length. And you... God tore away to shine a light. It's fine. I'm gonna be in a rock band. Yay! Yay! And I was wondering if you guys would be in it with me. Oh. Uh... Yeah, I think my instrument playing quota is met with band class. Yeah, and I'm way over scheduled, so... Good thing I have a plan B. Origami? I found this on the bulletin board by the grade 12 lockers. Tweet Edmo Mashkur. Cute name. He's dating my sister's best friend. Besides, I don't need a boyfriend. I need a band. Hi, do you know if the cap is serving pancakes today? Oh, I wish, but it's usually cereal and fruit. Bagels, if we're lucky. Too bad. I was really craving a nice, flat pancake. <laughs> is my face flat or something? I don't think they were talking about your face. How does Simpson expect me to put on a hockey pep rally when there's no money left in the student council coffers? I mean... You know, speaking of uh, pep rallies... Mm -hmm. Scratch that. How do I say this? You're a great girl, Katie. Wait. Are you breaking up with me? What did I do? Nothing. You did nothing. So there's someone else? Yes. But you don't know her. Courtney. Courtney. We met at Blue Mountain when I went skiing with my family. So while I was in rehab, thinking of being with you, you were off in a hot tub with some slutty ski bunny? I know. I, I'm a pig, and I don't deserve you. Yeah, you're right. You don't. And I am so glad I didn't lose my virginity to you at prom. I just I hope you can forgive me one day. Yeah, dream on, Drew. Hey, I saw your audition poster. Was it too much? The green with the cursive? I went for something. Oh, excuse me. No, 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 no. It was, it was great. Sorry, excuse me. Um, I was actually wondering what your sound was like. White stripes, bit of arcade fire. I love it. Awesome. Do you know someone who wants to audition? Me. Oh, really? Uh, you're Katie Matlin's little sister, right? Mm-hmm. Is that OK? Yeah, no, it's fine, sure. Uh, it's just I had a different image in mind for the band. Well, what kind of image? Uh, more mature. Thanks. Uh, no, really. Wow. <laughs> OK, shut up. Sorry. Welcome to Chez Burger. Today we have cheeseburger, a sandwich, french fry, and iced tea. You're a doof. Can't wait to eat a romantic combo meal with this girl. Um, what are you guys doing? Preemptive damage control. You didn't tell them? I thought you did. We're having a party to welcome Dallas to our home. Thanks, bro. No, no, Bianca and I are on a date. Uh, Bianca, help me with the cooler. When my mom finds out, she will kill us, slowly and painfully. Who knew your sister was cooler than you? Adam's a guy. Make fun again, I'll make your life hell. All right, respect. Good, now cancel the party. That's not really possible. It's on face range. And your bro tweeted it. He has so many followers. Oh, and, uh, just in case you plan to swipe your V-card tonight. I didn't know I was a virgin. I didn't, but I do now. <laughs> well, that must be the keg. You guys got a keg? Everyone is going to this party. Everyone, everyone? <laughs> is this top too clingy? And who are you trying to impress? Can a girl just want to be clean free? I 
I can't see you like before the break. What? <laughs> Why didn't you say anything? I didn't want to get my hopes up, and rightly so. He didn't even mention it today, as if it never happened. Oh, well, you can remind him tonight. But what if he wants to forget? I know, Eli, if he was interested, he would have said something by now. Oh, Jake. We need your perspective. Jake. Do I have to? Yes. OK, so if a guy doesn't bring up a past kiss, does it mean he's not interested? No, if he's interested, he'll kiss her again. No. <laughs> Shouldn't said people talk first? No, no, no. No talking. We'll come to you. Does said guy favor the color black? Out. <sighs> At Blue Mountain. At Blue Mountain. In a hot tub? I'm assuming. Ugh, I'm throwing up right now. I know, right? What a mistake. Are you OK? It's just that I haven't been the best girlfriend. What are you saying? This is partially my fault. I made mistakes, too. Didn't you say he's having a party tonight? Are you really thinking of crashing? He'll be glad I did, Mary. Drew and I can get through this. Yeah. You know what? Most bands sounds amazing. In fact, it's the exact band I would have put together. Then you have to audition. He says I'm not right for the band's image. That's because he hasn't heard you play yet. And he has to get over the fact that you are so cute. Mm, flat. Musically? Chestily. Should I be hearing this? That's nuts, Maya. You have such a nice body. Right? I am so jealous of your body. I even asked my parents for a breast reduction. Don't worry, they said no. That's what I need to look like for tomorrow. You want to audition in your bra? <sighs> no. You heard those hockey guys. Even Mo thinks I look like a little girl. And you do something drastic, I'm going to make that band. You are not getting implants. Tristan, don't be ridiculous. Maya just needs a little support. And I have got just the thing. I'm sorry our date's ruined. It's not. I'm with you. Till the world explodes. <laughs> Just saw Katie out at the driveway. That's all you know. One sec. Man, this party was the best idea ever. Uh, you know, I'm okay. I want to be sober for my first time, if it happens. That's not what it's for. Adam saw Katie outside parking her car. I thought you broke up with her. I did. Sort of. Do me a favor and uh, distract Bianca, OK? Do you know that hand? This here is Adam's house. And we've been following him for a long time. And actually, when I was on break uh, in New York, I actually got to see them there. And they were much better there than they were in Toronto. Yeah. Hey, you having a good time? Uh, yeah, totally. Love the vibe. I can't tell if you're being facetious. Sorry, what? I can't tell if you're being... Uh, never mind. Claire, I have the funniest story to tell you. Come here. <laughs> Can you just try and have fun? Mingle, dance. Just don't do that, no. And from the uniform's ashes grew style and freedom of expression. Hold it right there, mister. Ugly khakis to you are perfectly good pants to a person in need. I'll donate them on your behalf. What the hell was that? What are you doing here? Giving you a second chance. Oh, uh, I thought you'd be happy to see me. <laughs> Go to my room, all right? I'll meet you there in five and we can talk, all right? Me and you. Okay. You really want to go through the party crying? <laughs> You're right. Oh, use the front door. Okay.
stay with you? Uh, no. I mean, yeah, I wish, but uh, your curfew. Uh, I almost forgot. Well, I don't want to upset Auntie, my parole officer. So don't get too crazy. I won't. Isn't there a girl waiting in your bedroom? Yeah, waiting to be broken up with? Again? There's an ancient myth. It takes three times to break up with a girl before it sticks. Yeah, but this time, it better. Okay, okay, before you go into battle, you gotta take a drink out of the, uh... Trophy of Power! Look, uh, if you're drunk... No, I just had a beer and a trophy. I lied about Courtney so he'd break up with me. I wasn't happy. Yeah, I'm, I'm not surprised. It was awful to you before the break. I mean, if I were you, I'd end things with me too, so. You're being so cool about this. Look, you made this decision to break up on your own, in your own head. We never discussed it. We've been through way too much for you to make this big decision alone. Last year was pretty crazy, huh? Yeah, crazy is an understatement. You know, I might be dead right now if it wasn't for you. You said it yourself. We need each other. Next time, you're thinking something. Just talk to me, okay? Because there is no problem Katie Matlin can't fix. I'm gonna go. Uh, okay. Wait, this is ridiculous. I don't care what anyone else thinks. Why haven't you brought up the kiss? Because, Claire, I wrote a play to get you back last year. I've come a long way from that, and chasing you after one kiss takes me back about five steps. The ball's in your court. Um. Well. I'm happy I kissed you. No regrets. Are you okay with it? Yes, and no. What's the no part? You knew I was leaving. There were twinkly lights. It was easy. I want to know it wasn't just some fleeting moment, because there won't always be twinkly lights. And if we're going to do this, you need to be all in. Eli, I am all in.
did it. I did it. Oh. oh, man. Okay. Um. I think he's okay. All right, let's get him up. Let's go. Okay. Take it, man. I did it.